Hitman, the hitting. Chapter 3, because the other guy didn't say it. In the African country, there were shack towns because people were poor and leaders would not help. A woman was trying to fix her house, was bald guy who was Mr. 47 came to talk to her. <laughs> Excuse me, but I was asked to talk to everyone about King Bascule. He is a horrible asshole, He's, she said. He makes us work in oil mines and does not give enough food or money for even an okay life. Okay, that checks out with everyone else in the country. <laughs> Diana called back to say the client was stupid, so 47 to double check he was killing right guy. Where does he live? Over there. The woman pointed to a big cement metal fortress. This guy really doesn't have any friends. 47 asked. What about his grads? He doesn't hire from here. The woman replied. He hired X-Red army merchants. 47 thought to himself that it would make job easier. So 47 walked over to Fortress and looked at doors. He saw a guard in helmet with and bulletproof vest walking out so he could smoke and walked to him. What? <laughs> I'm gonna try to read that again. So 47 walked over and walked... <laughs> And walked at, walked to him. Oh, okay, all right. Can I borrow you clothes? 47 asked. I'm not sure, the guard replied. I have drugs I will give you if you let me. 47 said. The guard said okay, but 47 was already walking around him and invested needle full of drugs into him. The guard became unconscious and 47 stole his clothes and dragged him away into the shadows so he would be harder to see. 47 went through the door, but saw that he was in the garden. The door into the building was guarded by two people who had officer uniforms. 47 thought they wouldn't let him in, so he decided to walk around garden and look for a way in. He went into the shed and discovered the guards had Uzis and revolvers stocked, so he took some to add to his gun collection. There was a back door that led to kitchen, but 47 thought was too obvious, so he took a trampoline from the shed and set it under the second floor window. And when no one was looking, he used all his strength to jump into the window? <laughs> Then he sneaked into the bathroom where the indoor guard was filling up a bath, but also peeing into a toilet. 47 tried to sneak up and pistol whip him, but guard finished and turned around to say, You cannot go in here! Shut up. Said 47, and he punched him in the face. The guard fell over into the bath where he fell asleep and droned. <laughs> and droned? <laughs> 47 dressed up as indoor guard and checked area. Then he saw King Bascule, who looked like picture except balder and fatter and wearing bathrobe with boxers. He went into a bathroom where another guard stood at door. 47 walked out of sight and threw a needle to distract the guard. The guard picked it up and said, Hey, drugs! Cool! He ran up to his friend, Mikhail. Someone is giving us drugs! Let's try them out! Mikhail, who was... <laughs> Mikhail, who was new guy who just showed up the day before, raised an eyebrow behind sunglasses. Vladimir, do you know where these came from? Who cares? Mikhail, get the bomb. <laughs> it's in the basement. I'll be back. When Mikhail left Vladimir, he went back to his post, but he was too late. Because while and Mikhail were talking, Mr. 47 snuck into the king base holes. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. Oh, shit, I can't read this. This is gonna fucking drive me crazy. 47 stuck in the base holes room where he was watching torture videos and cocked him with his fiber wide. Agent 47 then checked the keyhole and saw that the guard was back, so he moved Bascule's body into the bathroom to make sure that they didn't see it if, if they entered. Then he climbed out of the window onto the roof, jumped to a tree, and climbed back to the ground. 47 then put back on his suit and began walking to border, but then started jogging when suddenly Fortress blew up. Why did it blow up?